Shalom and greetings, my friends. Welcome again to the faith I live by. Today's scripture reading is taken from John chapter 14, verse 26. It reads, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send me in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. My friends, the Holy Spirit is Christ's representative, but divested of the personality of humanity and independent thereof. Cumbered with humanity, Christ could not be in every place personally. Therefore, it was for their, the disciples' interest that he should go to the Father and send the Spirit to be his successor on earth. No one could then have any advantage because of his location or his personal contact with Christ. By the Spirit, the Savior would be accessible to all. At all times and in all places, in all sorrows and in all afflictions, when the outlook seems dark and the future perplexing and we feel helpless and alone, the Comforter will be sent in answer to the prayer of faith. Circumstances may separate us from every earthly friend, but no circumstance, no distance can separate us from the heavenly Comforter. Wherever we are, wherever we may go, He is always at our right hand to support, sustain, uphold, and cheer, the Comforter is called the Spirit of Truth. His work is to define and maintain the truth. He first dwells in the heart as the Spirit of Truth, and thus He becomes the Comforter. There is comfort and peace in the truth, but no real peace or comfort can be found in falsehood. Through the Scriptures, the Holy Spirit speaks to the mind, and impresses truth upon the heart. Those who are under the influence of the Spirit of God will not be fanatical, but calm and steadfast, free from extravagance in thought, word, or deed. Amid the confusion of delusive doctrines, the Spirit of God will be a guide and a shield to those who have not resisted the evidences of truth. Every man, woman, and child that is not under the control of the Spirit of God is under the influence of Satan's sorcery. And by his words and example, he will lead others away from the path of truth. My friends, I am inviting you to accept the Word of God and choose to walk with Him. For this is the faith I live by. Music